Hi everybody, it's 25th of November 2019. I want to continue with the subject I started on. I started with four days ago when I put out the video, Is Jesus Christ a Liar? I will, what will I do? I will link it in the, in the description box and in the first comment. Basically, in that video, I am presenting a number of verses from the New Testament that, without a doubt, are pointing towards Jesus, plainly saying that his second coming and the destruction, destruction of Jerusalem will happen within a generation from him going away. All right? Um, I will put the verses in here as well in the first comment he says a number of things he says um, to the disciples when I when you know when you go out and preach the gospel uh, in the towns that they don't accept you um, you know move quickly to another town because I'm telling you and I'm paraphrasing uh, you won't be done with all the Jewish cities and towns before I come back so, you know, he says that. Then he also says, some of those standing here today won't taste death until they see the sun coming uh, back in the, with the power of the kingdom or whatever, which, which our way was said, but coming back, right? Um, then I was talking about Matthew 24, that the whole chapter is describing something that was supposed to happen within a generation of Jesus' leaving. So his return was supposed to be within a generation, whether you define it as 40 years, whether you define it as 70 years, 80 years, it doesn't matter. Within a generation. Generation is in 2,000 years. Okay? So he's basically saying there it will happen within a generation. Everything that's written in... in Matthew 24, including the destruction of the of the temple or Jerusalem, including him coming back, including the end of age. Okay, so we went over all that, and I concluded that what the community of those who believe are in the end times or at the end of the age. We've been led to believe that all of these scriptures are about us, our time right now. But then I'm like, how can that be when from the scriptures itself, we're told, we're shown literally that it was for the people back then that were living at the time of Christ. So let me show you that on a chart. Just give me a moment. Okay, so we're told that this basically is the timeline, right? And we have an old covenant up to about year zero or until he died on the cross and resurrected, doesn't matter, somewhere around here. Then we've got a long pause of the new covenant, right? And now we're in 2000s and, well, the day has just been coming up and going for his return. And then somewhere there, the millennium will begin for about a thousand years. And then after the millennium, there'll be a brief pause of the devil let out for a little bit and then eternity. Well, uh, that doesn't seem to be true because we learned in the last video that from Jesus' own words, he returned very soon, within 40 to 70 years after he resurrected, all right? Within 40 to 70 years, he already returned. Somewhere here, or here, or here, very close to the town that he was here the first time. So this just does not work, guys. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. What does work is this, okay? What works is that we've got ages, 
It's something that the disciples asked him about. They asked him. In Matthew 24, verses, verse 3, they asked him, What will be the sign of this? Meaning the temple destroyed. No, when will, when will this be? Meaning the temple destroyed. What will be the sign of the end of the age? And what will be the sign of your coming? Return. So they're asking about the end of the age. Now, we know there were other ages from different verses in the Bible, which I'm not going to cover now. You know, you can look for it yourself. There were other periods of time called ages. <clears throat> and it seems every time an age comes and goes, there's destruction. And there's people taken out of here that came to some kind of I don't know how to say it, that returned to the Father spiritually. They're taken out of here, all right? We see it uh, with Enoch. It wasn't just Enoch that departed. Uh, I've read somewhere there was a whole city that disappeared. Now, I don't know if it's true or not, but I can't find it again, but it makes total sense for me that it wasn't just one. It was... Whoever got united with the Father and the Holy Spirit within them, right? Enoch was already taken out. And now, if you're if you're telling me, <clears throat> no, no, nobody, you know, nobody could go before Jesus came and died. No, Enoch did. We're told that Enoch and Elijah were taken. They were taken. What if it's what if it's symbolic? What if it's not just one person? What if it's a time of the end of an age, right, where those that are ready are simply taken out of here. Call it rapture, call it whatever you want, ascension, whatever, okay? And so we get end of an age, end of an age, end of an age, and end of an age. And, and the one that we hear of in Matthew 24 was the previous end of age. All right, so whatever you're reading in Matthew 24 and in the book of Revelation, because they, they cooperate, you know, you know that they do. What you're reading in Matthew 24 is something that can be found in the book of Revelation too. <coughs> so that was the end of age back then. And we got different ages before that, all right? And so now we're also at the end of age, and we're also expecting harvest. And so some of these passages, surely Father uses to tell us what is coming up. Harvest. Certain people work in the field, right? Certain people work in the field for the harvest. I'm, 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 I'm not saying that there's no rapture, there's no um, return back to where we came from I'm, I, in my previous video I wasn't saying this is not going to happen it's just I'm saying that what people are getting out of Matthew 24 and the book of Revelation especially the seals the destructive events the seals the two witnesses and all that that's already happened that was for the time of the disciples that were walking the earth with Jesus Christ before he died and after he rose and that was instruction for them okay and my point is right we're at a different time although some things will repeat as they always repeat there is an end time harvest it's a mostly spiritual um work of love like father is the spirit of love and how are you going to reconcile somebody to that unless you come in love right you can, i mean if you think that these disasters that are coming upon the earth are sent by the father who is the spirit of love then you don't know father so what i'm saying is the matthew 24 the destruction of the book of Revelation that's already happened back then and I know that I know that I know that the adversary 
is trying to make everybody believe we are at this time and that the distraction that we're w watching around us is the work of our father. It's not. It's not. Okay? And once the transformation happens and when the infilling happens to overflowing, when the harvest field workers are sent out to work the harvest, they'll be healing people that came through these disasters. All right? It's like... If you think that your job is going to be to accusing people or to be telling them how bad they are or convincing them of, of, of their sins and I don't know what, no. You'll be healing them. You'll be showing them what Father's all about, which is love. And so, yes, we are at the end of the age. We are nearing the harvest season. That is all true. At the end of the harvest yes there is a rapture <laughs> of course but the distraction of matthew 24 and all that if you start seeing it happen it's not from our father this is the adversary copying everything trying to make you believe you're at a different time and do you know why he's doing it because he wants you to just sit down and wait to be raptured out. He wants you to sit down and be, um, what's the word? <coughs> Excuse me. And be frustrated that somehow Jesus is delaying something. Oh no, there's no delaying. It's just. It's not going to go down exactly the way that's written here, because that's already happened, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to continue with this subject in the next video. Let me, let me know what you think. Pray, pray, pray that you're right. I mean, your heart is right with the Father. That's the most important thing. Not trying to find a date of the rapture. Not trying to argue your point of view of which seal has opened already. None of that matters. The only thing that matters is that your heart is right with the Father. Which means there's no unforgiveness. <coughs> You don't hold anything against anybody. And you make yourself available to be used by the Spirit of God. Because then He might even use you. Okay? That'll be all for today. I love you. Goodbye.